Hi, welcome to the new Lancy home. Today we're going to do a blower door test to show you the differences in our home compared to our competitors. Come on in and take a look. Hi, my name is Chris Schwarzkopf. I'm with Energy Diagnostics. I'm going to do a blower door test and duct leakage test. What does that equate to um, when we come to CFM for uh, air exchanges in the house? Well, we have 3,200 18 square feet, which equates to 26,253 cubic feet, because it's all based off of cubic feet of air, the volume of air. That gives us two point, basically two and a half air changes. Uh, code minimum is seven air changes, so you are that much better than code. Code, if you want to consider code, is the D minus. This would be, you know, an A. If you, if you were to compare the two. Um, and then if you want a percent, it's 18% air change. Um, EPA deems anything under 35% as energy efficient. This is at 18%. So pretty, pretty typical to be that much better than code for Lancia. We go around as we're doing it to make sure that the system itself is sealed. After we do this test, I'll run down to the basement and show you guys uh, how extensive the ceiling goes um, and how great of a job they do. Um, now the duct leakage to outside, that pressure is measured at 25 pascals, so it's a little bit lower. And then we kind of ba balance the pressure between the house and outside. Once that number gets zero on the pascals, they'll tell us the number in CFM how much leakage to outside there. Code, you get um, a maximum of 8 CFM per under square feet of floor plan. Uh, I would be shocked if it's much more than 20 or 30 CFM total, so they usually do a really good job. But you probably don't see the mastic sealant on all the seams. If you pull back all the takeoffs from the flex lines, you can see all these collars are sealed as well. The inner lining of the, of the duct system, of the flexible ductwork, is taped, and then the mechanical clamp is put on. So it's definitely installed properly. Very nice job. Um, both HVAC companies that work for you guys, you still have two, right? Uh, do an outstanding job. Um, we rarely, rarely ever have an issue with how the duct system tests and, and you know rough inspection before the drywall goes on. We make sure that there are, you know, everything is sealed up behind the drywall. You know, you can seal up everything down here. And it's all good and great. Uh, but when we get to the floor penetrations and how the duct system comes through the floor. And you see the mastic on this side. Well, if you're looking from the floor down, that penetration that's cut out for the boot is actually sealed as well. Um, that's actually one of the biggest points of leakage that people seem to miss. They can't wrap their, their minds around. Um, but leakage is outside, it really starts there, and then it goes to the to the duct system. The insulation goes from the top of the cavity all the way down. There's not very many compressions. Um, you know, there's not a lot of big gaps in the insulation. Uh, the rim and band's all insulated nicely. Again, can't say nothing about the duct system. You can have R50 walls, R100 attic. If the duct system's not installed properly, you're not going to have an efficient house. The other nice thing about the report is it gives the uh, homeowner uh, an estimation of what the utility, their utility costs per year and also what the savings yeah. on this home is per year versus a standard code built, built home. Yep. Like I said, code is always the D minus. Lancy always strives to be better continuing to be better with the products they choose and the way that they, that they test. So you think ours are great at A? I would say absolutely. Okay, again, we want to balance the pressure between the house and outside. The door is pretty 25 miles or 20, 20 pascals on the exterior surface. And this is balancing the pressure between the duct system and outside. This tells us how much of the duct system is being lost to outside the envelope. We're right about zero, and we are at 45 CFM, which is very, very, very little. It's about half of what normally comes out of one supply when the furnace comes up. So that's not much at all. Uh, that's that's, pretty, that's a total leakage for the entire. That's the entire heat. system. That's the entire system is only leaking 45 CFM to outside. They're allowed about 280. 
and they're at 45. So, again, they do a really good job. It's, uh, it's kind of a treat to come out here and test because usually there's nothing wrong. We get all of the mentions, all of the um, R values, U values off windows and efficiencies off the equipment. We put it into our software. That software will tell us if, if it meets code and by how much. We can kind of do a kind of an estimated guess on what the CFM leakage is going to be. Usually when we test it, it's, little, it's always lower than what we're giving them. So they make code off of what, what we say. <clears throat> that goes through, we actually do the physical testing, comes back, we put a sticker on the utility box, or the fuse box with all the R values, and then um, goes back to the office, all the inputs get put through back through our software, make sure everything's correct, and that gives us the HERS rating. Now the HERS rating is just like a miles per gallon sticker that compares to other houses around the area and homes built to code. The closer to zero up you are, the more energy efficient you are.